With the first overall pick, the Detroit Red Wings select Alexis Lafreniere. Alexis Lafreniere is an elite player, and he could even turn out to be a franchise player. He is so good. His vision is elite. His playmaking is so good. His shot is amazing. He doesn't use it very much, but it is amazing when he does use it. He He's just all around good. He's not bad in his defensive end either, so that makes him a good two-way player. And he is going to be an elite, possibly even franchise-changing forward. Lafreniere also uses his size to his advantage. He is very, very good when going for the puck. He can use his stick. He can use his body. He is very, very good. He put up a lot of points this year, 112 points in 52 QMJHL games. He had 10 points at the World Juniors in 5 games. He is just already such a good player and will step in and be great. And with the second overall pick, the Ottawa Senators select Tim Stutzel. Tim Stutzel is such a good player. He's pretty much always ranked at 3, but... ISS Hockey has him at 2, and Elite Prospects somehow has him at 8. But in 34 games in the DEL, he had 41 points. That is a good league. It's full of former NHL players, future NHL players, and just great players that aren't in the NHL. I'd say it's probably second or third best league in Europe. So he had 9 points with um Germany at the World Juniors in eight games. And yeah, he was just incredible. He if you go and watch his highlights, he's incredible. He's so good. He has such a good shot. He doesn't use it much, but his shot is so good when he does use it. He can pass the puck like nobody else. And he's just insane. With the third overall pick, the Ottawa Senators select Marco Rossi. Marco Rossi absolutely exploded this year with 120 points in 56 games. He is so, so good. He is ranked mo mostly 6th um, uh, to 8th, but I really think he should go 4th. He is so, so good. He, he's just amazing. I feel like he won't go here because he's small, like his size. I think he's only 5'9". But he's insane. He's got insane vision, insane playmaking ability, and is just all around such a good player. He's, his back checking is so, so good. And he's another guy where if you watch his highlights, you're going to know he's just going to be an elite player. With the fourth overall pick, the LA Kings select Quinton Byfield. So, Quinton Byfield is an elite centerman. He's more than likely going to go second overall. He is six foot four and has great speed, great skating ability and great puck skills he can deke he probably has top three hands in this draft he is so good um i i would honestly be surprised if he goes this late but he could i i don't know if he's going to be a bust or not i made a video about it um I kind of have a feeling if anyone's going to turn into a bust out of this draft, it's going to be him. But it might not be. No, maybe nobody turns into a bust out of this draft. But I could see him being a bust. Most people's argument uh, uh, like against him being a bust is that he's the youngest player in this draft. But really, if you look at it, the best thing about him is his size and his strength. And he never uses that to his advantage. At number 6, the Anaheim Ducks select Jamie Drysdale. Jamie Drysdale is the best defenseman in this draft. He is so smooth. His skating is so good. 
He has good hands. He can rush the puck like nobody else in this draft class. He is just so, so good. <clears throat> and he had good numbers this year, too. And in the World Juniors, he might have had the nicest goal of the whole tournament. It was... He walked in a little bit and then shot. It was just beautiful. You got to watch it to just see how good it was. With Erie Otters, he had 47 points in 49 games as a defenseman. That is just incredible. At the World Juniors, he played seven games and had three points, which is very, very good for a defenseman. Um, yeah, he just he's just incredible. He's so, so good, and is going to be good for any team that picks him. So you might be wondering why I only did five. Mostly because I didn't want to make this video too long, because I probably have another video coming today. And I wanted to see if you guys want a part two. Every other part I do, it'll be uh, five picks each. So depending on how many likes you get, I might do, say, six parts. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. And I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.